Yo guys, it's your boy Next Sky Gaming here with another video. I am doing a new game. It is called Hex Card Clash. It's I don't know what it is like, but we'll wait and see. We never know. This could become a series. Um it is a free-to-play game after all, and yeah, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and yeah, let's get into, into this. Welcome to Hex, you'll be playing as Trevor Fenton as he seeks to protect the village from danger, use triangle to advance. These shorty Dactory matches will help you guide through the basic controls and strategies of a game of hacks. Your champion details are located at the bottom of the screen. So yeah. Your opposing champion can be seen up there. In order to defeat your opponent, you must reduce their health to zero or less. So it's kind of like um, Magic the Gathering in its own way. You can use troop cards. Okay, yeah, so it's basically Magic the Gathering. Um, yep. So, yeah. Um, press R1, 2, and... So, troop cards become exhausted, turn sideways when they attack. This is basically... Um... So, you've got a... So, you've basically got a, um... Tutorial rewards. So we got a Dark Spy Enforcer, a Rigid Buffalo, and a Tyrannosaurus Hex. Okay. So, Grit going up against Grit Dust Queen. Okay. So. Okay, so, diamond shards. Champions can have different starting health totals, but your goal remains to get it to zero. You can accomplish this by playing cards from your hand. You, you can get a better view of cards in your hand by highlighting them using L or the D-pad, as you can see. So, in order to play troop cards, you need to play a diamond shard. A diamond shard is a res resource, and I assume you can only play one per turn. Okay. Okay. There are five shard types in Hex. Diamond, Ruby, Sapphire, Blood, and Wild. Playing a diamond shard has also given a resource point. That's towards getting myself troops. So. Now it's my opponent's turn. Okay, so, yeah, okay, so I drew a baby yeti, so baby buffalo, the resource cost for uh, Richard buffalo is two diamonds, so let's play that, yup. So I can't attack because of because of its um there's certain 
things that come into play. Okay, so I've now got myself. Okay, so a baby yeti in your card has a resource cost of one, but it's one ruby. I can play the baby yeti. I've so I've now got no resource, but you still have two. Yet it's not. Ah, Baby Yeti has a special keyword power called Speed. This power allows the troop to attack the same turn it's played. So, now we've got these three to attack with, and well, it's a victory. So I've now got new cards, Paladin of Nagan, Earthcore, and Molten Slaggard. So, well from here it's pretty self-explanatory, so I'll let you guys watch. And yeah, I'll keep my mouth shut for a little bit.
that that was the blocking phase. But since Priestess of Light gave me two health, I was able to take the hit without losing any.
that's another one. I'll land there. Now, this is really when all the things really come into play. Yeah. This is pretty self-explanatory. So yeah. Well anyway guys, how you been? If you're new, leave a like and subscribe. I'll be doing this quite frequent, so yeah, enjoy. Uh, I'll keep my hand since I've got two diamond shards and two rubies. Yeah. Diamond shard, phantom. And there. Do I take it though? Yeah. It doesn't want to attack. Yeah. 
That's understandable, though. I'll still do that. Because I know I can kill him off. Does it do? Ah, uh, it's true. Four two. So it's just best to. Okay, that's a zero. What exactly? The opponent ends their turn. Diamond shard. Okay, so human cleric. So that's by five. He's dead. We need to combat. Sky. There you go. So either way or not, I'm not going to be able to kill shot, so... Leave that one behind and leave that one behind. Actually, he has no way of winning. Actually, no, he does. Nah, he doesn't. I win! Okay, well, guys, I'll end the first one here. If you guys want this to become a actual series, leave a like and subscribe. Give me some feedback on it, and yeah, we'll 
go from there. Until then. <laughs>